Hello guys, in this video I'm going to go over uh, how to write the uh, equation of a circle and how to graph the equation of a circle. So first of all, let's go over uh, the standard equation of a circle which looks like this over here. So x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square. So here this h and k represent uh, the center of a circle and r is the radius of the circle. So this is the standard form of equation. So we can write an equation of a circle if they gave you uh, if, or if they gave us the center and the radius. Okay, so we can write the equation of a circle. And let's say if, if the center of a circle is at the origin over here. So center is origin which is 0 0 in that case this equation can be written as as h is 0 so this becomes x square plus y square is equal to r square so that will be the equation of a circle if the center of the circle is at the origin okay so now we're going to write some equations of a circle and we're going to find uh, the radius and the center of a circle from the equation. So let's go over a few examples. So in this example, we're going to find the equation of a circle whose center and radius is given. And the second example, we're going to find the center and a radius when they gave you the equation of a circle. And in third example, we're going to uh, graph the circle from the equation. Okay, so let's do those examples one by one. So first of all, it says find the equation of a circle whose center is 1 and negative 4 and the radius is 3. So let me write down the standard equation of a circle which is this one over here and then we'll figure out what are the values there. Okay, so x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square and you can easily write this equation from uh, you know using the distance formula if you want to all right so let me go back to the problem so now if we look at that so center center is 1 and negative 4 that means my h is 1 and my k is negative 4 and as radius is 3 so my r is 3 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna plug in those values of h k and r in this equation so then it will become x minus and h is 1 so x minus 1 square plus y minus k so k is a negative 4 so negative 4 square and r is 3 so 3 square over here so which can be rewritten as x minus 1 square plus so this negative multiply negative becomes y plus 4 square is equal to 9 okay or we can simplify these squares over here which gives me x square minus 2x plus 1 this gives me plus y square plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 9. So I'm just using the formula if you guys remember uh, a plus b square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square and, and a minus b square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so I'll say you guys can make a flash card if you want to for this concept or these formulas okay and these are always useful so try to memorize them all right so let's get back here so we're gonna uh, simplify all the things over here we got x square we got plus y square 
so i got negative 2x there's no other term with the x so just leave it as it is same thing with 8y and then we got 6 plus 1 uh sorry 16 plus 1 is 17 and minus 9 is equal to 8 so plus 8 is equal to 0 so that's the equation of a circle for this given center and the radius okay so let's do other example so in this case they gave you uh, the equation and they ask you to find the center and the radius okay so what my goal is to rewrite this equation and make it look like our standard equation which was x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square so i want to write this equation in this standard form so that i can find h k and r so that'll give me the center and the radius okay so here we need to use a trick we call it completing the square so let's do that so i'm gonna combine the x terms together and y on like together so let's say x square minus 4x okay just put parenthesis and then i got then i got uh let me use the purple here so y square plus 6y is equal to 12. okay so we're gonna complete the square over here and here so the trick is when you are doing the completing the square you know whatever is the coefficient of x over here what we're gonna do we're gonna divide it by 2 and square it okay so that gives me negative 2 square which is 4 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add that over here so that is x square minus 4x plus 4 and always keep in mind this uh, coefficient of x square need to be 1 for this case otherwise you need to take that coefficient out okay but here it's already 1 so just divide the coefficient of x by 2 and square it and then add it over here so if we add that 4 over here I need to add let me put this equal sign and we got 12 over here so if I added 4 on left hand side I need to add 4 on the right hand side too okay and then we got this part over here which is y square plus 6y same thing here coefficient of y in this case and again coefficient of y square is 1 so whatever is the coefficient of y over here so 6 in this case we're going to divide it by 2 and square it so that gives me 2 times 3 3 square is 9 so i'm going to add that 9 over here okay and then i'm going to add 9 on this hand side too and if we look carefully now these two equations are a complete square so basically this is you see this negative 4 make a half of it so which is negative 2 so this gives me x minus 2 square okay and same thing with this one see 6 make a half of this which is 3 so that will be y plus 3 square okay and when you find uh, foil it or multiply or distribute this product you will get this uh, equation back okay so that's the square completing the square thing okay and on right hand side what we got 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 12 is 25 so which is basically 5 square and now compare that with our standard so now compare this equation with our standard equation which was x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square and now look at that so in this case my h is 2 h is 2 and k is negative 3 okay and r is 5 so the center so the center is 2 comma negative 3 so that's the center okay 
and the radius radius r is equal to 5 so that's how you can find the center and a radius when they give you the equation so you need to use completing the square trick over here okay and third example is we need to graph the circle so in this case if we look carefully uh, let, let me write the standard equation again x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square if we compare the given equation with the standard equation that tells me h and k h and k are zero zero h is 0 k is 0 that tells me the center of this circle lies on the horizon over here okay so it is right at the horizon right here and the radius now compare r square with 36 that gives me r is equal to 6 so we're gonna go in all directions 6 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 in this side 6 in that side and 6 in this side and active 6 in this side and make a circle with this 6 unit okay so that gives you the circle with the radius is equal to 6 so that's how you can graph a circle with a given equation and now let's say they give you the center center is not zero zero there is some h and k value so what we're gonna do we're gonna find that h and k point can be here somewhere let's say okay which is one two and three one two and three so this is three three and then radius is six we're gonna go six this side that side and make a circle around that uh, center all right so that's how you can graph uh, a circle from the equation and I will always recommend please practice more problems that way you guys will be good to go thank you for watching the video guys please share with your friends and please please subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any other video thank you have a good day bye bye